Uncle Hal? The, the legs? They're done. Thank you, Sonny. Uh, Snake! So, back from the dead? I don't remember the sun being so flat. <laughs> Sorry. I'll dig in right away, Sonny. And would you make some for Snake, too? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, hey. None for me, Sonny. Mm. Uh, shh. whole day. Uh, someone saved my life. Yeah. It could have been Meryl and her boys. Don't worry. They're doing fine. Liquid got away. Are you okay? <laughs> my body up all of a sudden. This is normal. It's not my joints or muscles. <coughs> it looked like the PMC soldiers all went haywire en masse, too. I thought it might be a form of ADS, but I didn't detect any aberrations in the EM field. You were lucky. Some of those guys' hearts simply stopped. <coughs> You're right. Naomi was there. I found traces of her DNA in that syringe you were holding. So it was Naomi. Why? Here, let me show you something. Right after it all happened, I got a video mail from Naomi. It was sent to my old address. Uh, um, here you go. Uh, thanks, Sonny. They're delicious. Like I know how to cook. Hey, check this out. The data's been quarantined. No viruses. The voice print matches Naomi's. And I'm fairly confident the video isn't digitally synthesized either. Snake, I'll make this quick. I'm in South America. I've been captured and forced to do research. It's Liquid. Liquid's goal is to seize control of SOP, the sons of the Patriot system that controls the soldiers. To do that, he needs to analyze the nanomachine structure and find out how they communicate with one another. The nanomachines currently in use by militaries and PMCs are third generation. But their design is derived from that of the first generation. And the basic technology is still the same. First generation? I was the one who created the first generation. A nanomachine colony, part of which was Fox Die. Nine years ago, at Shadow Moses, I injected it into your body, Snake. The 
technology used in Fox Dye was incorporated. Inherited, really, by SOP. That's why Liquid has me helping him hijack the system. Because I know how Fox Dye works. <laughs> Quid's found a loophole he can use to get into the system. Preparations for his insurrection are nearly complete. There's no time to waste. Snake, hurry! Naomi sent her location data in a separate file. that it's a type of encrypted data sunny decoded it for us remember now this is data from the soliton radar you used to shadow moses i'm guessing naomi wants us to know the message truly is from her sending the map data in soliton radar format pretty clever and Mei Ling's helping us out from Hawaii. The, the, the data she sent was 4D sound data. I, I don't know how Soliton radar works, but all I had to do was change the audio data into video data. It was easy. This Naomi lady seems pretty cool. <laughs> Campbell. Snake, as you'll recall, following the Shadow Moses incident nine years ago, Naomi was detained by the authorities. But someone arranged for her escape. Yeah, I hear they added that to my rap sheet, too. I suspect it was actually liquid. He must have taken her prisoner himself and forced her to do research at his facility in South America. Chances are, the location Naomi gave us is the site of Liquid's main base. But there's no actual proof. There's an ongoing skirmish between a new regime put into power by PMCs and a rebel army formed by remnants of the old one. The Rebels have hired a small-scale local PMC of their own to stir things up. It's the quintessential example of a war economy market. The new regime is still in shambles, so it's really Pierre Ramamon, one of the PMCs under Outer Heaven control, that's calling the shots. You might say it's a perfect place for Liquid to make his haven. Or it could be a trap. True, but even so, the payoff would greatly aid our efforts. I had Sunny trace the origin of Naomi's mail. The address is fake, but Sunny was able to track the message back through its proxies based on access date timestamps and data transfer volumes. Apparently, the message originated from a server in South America. I wouldn't exactly call it 100% credible. Colonel. Where's Meryl? Well, I know she left the Middle East in pursuit of liquid. I'm sure our sock is on to us by now. We can't chase that line too far. Huh. Which leaves Naomi as our only lead. I've secured you landing clearance at El Dorado International Airport. You'll be acting as a UN inspector. South America. That's about 20 hours from here. Then what's the plan? I'll arrange for them to get you a 4x4. The location Naomi gave us, the PMC's base, is in a mountainous region surrounded by forests. Use the 4x4 to get as close as possible to the PMC security perimeter. From there on, Snake, it'll be a solo sneaking mission. Right. <clears throat> Rebels are still pitched in battle against the PMCs. 
A commotion should help you slip into the facility unnoticed. 20 hours until we land. Got it. I'll have a look at the documents. Maybe I'll even have a smoke while I still can.